Welcome back to the great outdoors. Hunting and fishing are certainly two ways to enjoy what Mother Nature has given us. But how about this for an option? Taking a hike. There are some great parks in our area and some great beauty to be had. Iowa's photographer Kyle Schleister loves to use his camera, loves to document this beauty, and he takes us on some of his favorite trails in eastern Iowa. Being a photographer here in Iowa, nothing brings me more joy than exploring the great state of Iowa and finding beautiful landscapes to take photos of to show off how beautiful the state of Iowa really can be. Today I want to share a few hiking trails that I think you'll just fall in love with here in eastern Iowa. Starting off our hike, we'll be visiting Makokoda Caves State Park. With more caves than any other state park in Iowa, Makokoda Caves is one of the most unique outdoor attractions you'll find in the state. The park has a six mile long trail system which links up to the caves and scenic overlooks throughout the park. As one of Iowa's earliest state parks, Makokita Caves has been a popular destination for hikers since the 1860s but be sure to bring a flashlight with you before starting your adventure into the caves. Our next trail can be found in Solon, Iowa at the Lake McBride State Park at the Beach to Dam Trail. This 1.5 mile long trail is accessible for all ages and skill levels. My favorite way to hike on this trail is to start at the docks and make my way all the way to the Lake McBride Spillway. Once there, you'll have to turn around and go back, giving you a three mile long hike. You'll only encounter a few small inclines, but most people will find this trail very peaceful. Ramping up the difficulty a little bit, we'll make a trip over to Iowa City and visit Woodpecker Trail slash Squire Point Trail. These two trails offer a little bit more of a challenge for hikers due to having steeper hills on the path. When you do the full loop, you're looking at a five mile long course, which will grant you a spectacular view of the Coralville Lake. Heading 20 miles north, we'll be making our next stop at the Palisades Kepler State Park in Mount Vernon, Iowa. Putting all the trails together, you're looking at a five mile long hike that offers a mild challenge for hikers, but is very rewarding nonetheless. With only a few inclines on the path, most people will find this hike very easy and relaxing. My favorite part of the trail is the lookout point above the bluffs looking out over the Cedar River, over the Old Dam. Our next destination is one of the most photographed state parks in Iowa, at the Wildcat Den State Park in Muscatine, Iowa. The trails wind through a variety of terrains and is very easy for all ages to navigate. Home of the historic Pine Creek Grist Mill, this is the perfect location for photographers, history buffs, or people who just want to enjoy the peace and quiet of the outdoors. And our last location we'll be exploring are the wonderful trails at Backbone State Park. Dedicated in 1920 as Iowa's first state park, Backbone offers one of the most unique trails in Iowa. The park offers a 21 mile long trail system. In some locations on the trail, you'll be navigating through a rocky path, so be sure to watch your step. While visiting the park, don't forget to also check out the Stone Tower right next to the Backbone State Park Beach. It's the perfect way to end your day here in Iowa. Beautiful. Thanks to Kyle Schleister, Iowa's photographer, for sharing it. If you want to see more of his work, go to Facebook or YouTube. Back in a minute to check out some fishing in less than ideal conditions. That's next on The Great Outdoors. Stay with us.